Some people seem to be oozing with confidence while other people appear to have none. I'm here to tell you that confidence is a learned trait that is created through a series of healthy actions. Today, we're gonna look at five easy things you can do right now to boost your confidence. Let's jump into it. What's up, people? My name is Trevor Hunt. If you're new here, thanks for coming. If you're not new here, welcome back. Let's jump in right away with tip number one. Work out for five minutes, five days a week. I do this every single week. If I can't work out for my normal time, which is 30 minutes, I'll just do five to 10 minutes in so I don't miss a day. This habit is not about getting in better shape because confidence doesn't come through a beautiful body. I know a lot of people who are very attractive who are also very unconfident in themselves. Confidence comes through building trust in your ability to maintain things you commit to. If we're committing to a workout routine, don't do something too large that you won't stick with. Do something that is manageable. The goal is building a habit of working out, not getting in shape. So you wanna build that habit of becoming a fit person and eventually you might become a fit person and you'll start to trust yourself. Once you do a week with this method, you can boost it up to 10 minutes and 15, but start small, start manageable. You wanna work out for your lifetime, not for a month so you can get in shape for the summer for your whole life so you can be healthy when you're 80, 90. I wanna still be driving my car when I'm 90. I gotta work out and maintain those gains so I can do that. Tip number two, brush and floss your teeth twice a day. It may seem obvious, but good hygiene is gonna help you feel more confident about yourself. Every single day when you wake up after having your morning coffee, brush your teeth and floss. Before you go to bed every night, brush your teeth and floss. These two things will help you maintain hygiene that will make you feel better about yourself. Number three, read one chapter out of one book every single day. This shouldn't take you super long. If you're not a very good reader, pick an easy book. But reading once a day will make you feel like you're learning something new or just doing a healthy habit for yourself that will help build up that inner confidence and charisma. Tip number four, get a haircut, shave your face or your legs, and take a shower. These things are also hygiene tips that I use because I think it's super important that you feel good about yourself. One way we can is to get a fresh cut to make yourself look clean. That will make you feel better. And this one is honestly for people who are in a slump. If you're in a slump, you can't even get out of bed today. You're just sitting there, you're watching YouTube videos, you happen to click on my video. This is your wake up call. Get out of bed, brush your hair, brush your teeth, shave your face, take a shower, drive on over to a nice barber shop, not great clips, a nice barber shop, and get yourself a good haircut. That's gonna make you feel better about your appearance and make you wanna get out there and conquer the world. Tip number five, my favorite one, give yourself grace. If you're too hard on yourself, if you're criticizing yourself all the time, you are not going to have a happy life. You are never going to be perfect. Don't compare your behind the scenes with someone else's highlight reels. You watch this video, you see that I'm happy, you see that I'm confident, and you think, man, I'll never be like that guy. Problem is, you don't see me in my weakest of moments. You don't see me when I'm struggling with anxiety. You see only the best parts of my life. Don't compare yourself to people online. Only do you versus you. Give yourself grace when you mess up as if it were like a sister or a brother. Be nice to yourself. Be nice to other people. If you're nice to other people, nice to yourself, you might actually start liking who you are. We all make mistakes, big and small, but that doesn't discount who you are or what you're worth. No matter what happens in your life, give yourself grace and move on. It's time to turn the page and find a new chapter. Give yourself grace. Bonus tip, life is not all about you. Most people don't care. Here's what I mean. There's this thing called spotlight syndrome that I struggled with for Ever. It prevented me from making YouTube videos. It prevented me from putting myself out there with my songs because I thought every little thing I did was scrutinized by everybody. I figured people were probably looking at this as critically as I am, but they don't. No, they don't at all. I criticize myself so much harsher than other people. And if you do something stupid, guess what? They forget about it. You know why? Because they're too worried about themselves to worry about what you're doing. Don't let spotlight syndrome hold you back. People don't watch you as closely as you think, and that's a great thing. It takes some pressure off of the things you do, the things you wear, the way you look, the way you act. It's okay. Give yourself grace. It's not all about you, and you'll build some confidence. In conclusion, that's all the tips I have for you. If this video benefited you in any way, leave a like, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. Share it with someone you love. God bless you, as always, and your family. And... Take it easy.